right, so I am on page 519. I'd love if you'd do this page with me. Um, so you can either use a pencil or you could use some crayons. If you're gonna use crayons, you would need yellow, blue, and red. All right, so today we're gonna be answering the question, how can you compare lengths of three objects, put them in order? That's what our whole lesson's gonna be about. Now, this problem, we have a few clues. The first clue says, a yellow string is shorter than a blue string, okay? So, we have yellow, blue, and red. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a yellow string that is shorter than a blue string. Okay. Let's see how that goes. We know we have a red string too, but we don't know any information about it yet. So let's read the next clue. The next clue, clue two, the blue string is shorter than a red string. Okay, so if the blue string is shorter than a red string, go ahead and draw a red string right now. Okay. So your red string should look something like that. And then let's just read clue number three to make sure that all the clues add up. Okay, number three says the yellow string is shorter than the red string. Is our yellow string shorter than our red string? Yes. Okay, so if you did it correctly, you have a yellow string that is shortest, then the length of the red string is the longest, and the length of the blue string is between the red string and the yellow string. Good job. I think you're ready for the next page. Now on page 520, up here it says use the clues, write shorter or longer to complete the sentence. Then draw to prove your answer. Clue one, a green pencil is longer than an orange pencil. Okay, so let's look down here. We have, they want us to put a brown pencil here, but we don't know anything about a brown pencil yet. They show us the orange pencil. Oh, and our clue just said something about a green pencil. It said a green pencil is longer than an orange pencil. So we can go ahead and draw a green pencil that is longer right now. Remember to start your pencil at the same spot as the object above it, otherwise it could end up being the same length just because they're not starting at the same spot. Then clue, num clue number two says the orange pencil is longer than a brown pencil. So if the orange pencil is longer than a brown pencil, we can draw a brown pencil. I don't have a brown, I'm gonna use black. Whoop, that's not right, is it? Okay. I almost drew it the same length. Let's do orange pencil is longer than a brown pencil. So it has to be something like this. So that the orange pencil is longer, right? Okay, so then we also need to finish this sentence. They already helped you out, but it says, so the green pencil is longer, trace the word longer than the brown pencil. The green pencil is longer than the brown pencil, okay? We had to kind of draw it to figure that out, right? Okay, now let's go down below. <clears throat> it says, use the clues. Write shorter or longer to complete the sentence, then draw to prove your answer, okay? So, clue one, a red line is shorter than a blue line. Okay, so I think it's a little easier to draw it first and then complete the sentence. But if you wanna read both clues and answer the sentence, you could do that now. But what I would do is I would go ahead and draw your lines first. So I would draw a red line that is shorter than a blue line down here. Red line, shorter than a blue line. Then when you're ready, you can move on to clue number two. The blue line is shorter than a purple line. So we know that the blue line is shorter than a purple line. Now you can draw your purple line. 
Then when you finish that drawing, I would go back up and write, so the red line is blank, then the purple line. Is it longer or shorter? Remember those are your options, shorter or longer. We have the same directions for both problems on page 521. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the first clue to you. Clue one, a green line is shorter than a pink line. Green, pink. Clue two, the pink line is shorter than a blue line. Okay, remember here's pink and here's blue. So if I were you, I'd draw those first. And then once you've figured it out, you're gonna fill in the blank. So the green line is blank than the blue line. And remember your options are, it's either shorter or longer for your fill in the blank. When you're done with that one, you can go down to number three. I'll read this one to you. Clue one, an orange line is longer than a yellow line. Okay, oh wait, here's orange and here's yellow. Okay, orange line is longer than a yellow line. Then clue two, the yellow line is longer than a red line. The yellow line is longer than a red line. Then I would fill in your sentence. So the orange line is shorter or longer, or your options, than the red line. When you're ready, you can move on to page 522. So uh, there is a fun math on the spot video that goes along with this. It's, it's a fun thing to watch if you have a QR code reader. You can watch it before you answer this question. It says the ribbon is longer than the yarn. The yarn is longer than the string. The yarn and the pencil are the same length. Draw the lengths of the objects next to their labels. So we have ribbon, yarn, pencil, and string. So go back up and read those clues so that you can draw the lengths. Remember to start at the same starting line and draw them going from there. Then go down to number five. Number five says, is the first line longer than the second line? Choose yes or no. Okay, now that's the same question for all these. So is the first line longer than the second line? You're gonna fill in a bubble for yes or no. Then look here, is the first line longer than the second line? Yes or no. Is the first line longer than the second line? Yes or no. All right, and that is all for today. Great job on your math.